Okay, welcome to theCUBE. We're in San Francisco. This is live, Silicon Angle's flagship program, theCUBE. We go out the events, extract the signal from the noise, and here in San Francisco, really ground zero for the future of the industrial internet, the industrial cloud, the internet of things, whatever you want to call it. We're living in a connected device, and the consumers are all seeing it with mobile and the cloud, and that's moving really, really fast into the business, industrial world, and that's what we're here to talk about. I'm John Furrier, the founder of Silicon Angle. I'm joined with my co-host. I'm Dave Vellante at Wikibon.org. Bill Rue is here. He is the director and a vice president and global technology director at GE, and really uh, the, the man behind this event, one of the key hosts of this event. Uh, Bill, you can sure pick your spot, so congratulations <laughs> on, uh, <laughs> on the activity that you guys are generating and uh, the momentum that you have right now. Well, it's a great topic, and it's not us. I think the market's moving here, so that's what makes it a great topic. Yeah, so, um, well, you guys got some news today. Why don't we start there and yeah. kind of, let's, let's unpack that a little bit. Yeah, so you know, we see this industrial internet movement being about how we can deliver outcomes and productivity games, applying big data, applying the internet, and so on. So our big news today was we, we really talked about this idea of delivering an industrial internet platform, and our first product there is the Enterprise Historian HD, which builds on Hadoop and allows us to manage and pull data off machines in real time and allow you to do analytics on that big data. Second thing is we announced a number of solutions uh, or new services offerings out of our businesses under the tagline pr predictivity. So a good example is we announced flex efficiency, uh, which is really about how you can become more productive with your gas turbines. Yeah, so the enterprise historian, I th like a little time machine, yeah. right? you can kind of look look back and then look look forward yeah. uh, with some of your, your, your services there. You talk a lot about real time, but you're also combining real time information with what people often call data lakes, you know, yeah. there's a huge amount of data out there. What do you, how do you see that working together in, in concert? Yeah, I think there's going to be two kinds of analytics. What's going to happen is that we're going to see, you know, working on the streams coming in, and that's going to have to be early warning, seeing problems, starting to identify how the behaviors are occurring. I think the real opportunity on real time is going to be operationally, can I make adjustments that I can get that one, two, three, four percent efficiency out of those big machines. I think on the data lake side, where you're dealing with the with the historical aspect, I think what you're looking for is you're looking to have a crystal ball in the future. I think it's going to be like magic. We're going to predict this product part's going to break. We're going to predict that this is it. This is going to become less efficient. And by predicting it, we're going to change how we maintain and operate it. So we don't have those problems. So imagine I can get rid of the 40% of, of mechanical delays in the airline industry. If I can predict when something's going to break, I'm going to get rid of all that. Think about how that changes everybody's lives. Yeah, so um, I look at you guys, Bill, kind of like the conductor here, right? You've yeah. got, you talked about the ecosystem and the importance of the ecosystem today. Uh, you've been doing work with Accenture for quite some time. You had uh, Amazon here, Werner, yeah. Werner Vogels was here. Uh, obviously, uh, Pivotal is a big partner of yours. Talk about the ecosystem, how that's evolving, and where you see it going. Yeah, you know, I, I think that uh, this is not a game you're going to, you can do by yourself. So too big. When you, you, you're too big, <laughs> it really is, isn't it? Mm. And I think that when we look, we're about, outcomes. We're about, we know the domain, we know what the productivity gains are, we know how to build those analytics. What we are beginning to realize is we need others like in system integration, we need others who bring the infrastructure and the platform as a service. So think about what we talked about today. Amazon, infrastructure as a service. We got our customers coming on pri public cloud saying, who are you going to work with? You got, uh, we got Pivotal, because now we're thinking about how we have a platform to manage data using Hadoop as well as the cloud. And Accenture, you know, world-class system integrator, solutions, really complements what we're doing. So we're going to continue to expand those partnerships out, but this is an ecosystem play for us. Yeah, so that's just, this is just a start, really, here. Um, these aren't exclusive partnerships, they're yeah. sort of uh, uh, beachhead partnerships, I guess you got <laughs> I'd it. call them. You got it. Um, and so we, we heard some numbers today that, uh, that, that Jeff Kelly and David Floyer put out. I mean, this is a half a billion dollar total available market. I mean, it's just enormous, but the more impressive numbers are the ones that GE is talking about in terms of the GDP impact. Talk yeah. about that a little bit. Yeah, you know what, when we started this and said, well, we know that all our customers are collecting data, it, it, we found it wasn't about the technology. They all said, look, don't come sell us technology. What they said is, get a, figure out how we can get outcomes. So we, we, we looked at it and said, well, what, what's the potential for these outcomes? We were completely blown away. So when we looked at things like 
fuel burn on just our gas turbines, and w we generate 30% of the world's electricity on those gas turbines, it's a $66 billion, $66 trillion, excuse me, $66 billion savings over 15 years. That's one, a 1% one improvement, right? That's actually a 1% right. That's a one improvement, yeah. and we probably can do better than that. Yeah. Right. I have a question on the on the outcomes thing, which, by the way, I love that messaging. I also want to give you props for yeah. the, the event panel. It was fantastic. Yeah, good. And it was not only geeky in terms of technology and also yeah. futuristic with the industrial cloud, but you talk about business value, and that's that was clear yeah. in, the, in the panel. Um, but Jeff Kelly made a comment about uh, an extreme example from a, on the on one end, web advertising, serving data up for a banner ad, someone clicks on it. If you miss that, then you miss target it, no big deal. But if you miss target, say, you know, drug delivery to a critical patient, yeah. that's a value. So I love this buying outcomes value. And the web business, the web industry, went <laughs> through this buying impressions advertising to performance-based marketing. You click got it, yeah. Which is all based on measurement and data. You right? got it. So behavioral and contextual data drove the web. Now let's go to the business outcomes. How do you price that? How does that work? Do you, <laughs> is it similar to the web where, hey, we impressions are one thing, but let's get down to the bottom line, what business happened, predictive, you know, value based. How do you measure outcomes? How do you price it? How do you sell it? You know, we're, we're you deliver the, it. We're in the <laughs> early days, so I want to <laughs> say that this is. I if you know the answer, to that we'd like to know. That's some ideas. I, mean, yeah. no, I think that what we're going to see is ten percent or one percent. We're, we're going to see it kind of go through three sort of. I think uh, uh, you know three waves. I think the first wave, uh, you're just trying to establish the ROI and and sell them an analytic outcome that that uh, you know I think that's where we are today and I think that's how they can consume it I think the end game the third phase is going to be one where they're gonna buy power by the hour or things like or you'll have the ability to now will they want to I, I don't know we know exactly yet but I think we're gonna go from where they they buy capability to where the outcome is a guaranteed level of metrics you know, and you right. pay by what you get to where you may be buying power by the hour. So in, in the internet world of ads, it was sales. Give yeah. me a lead, or I, I know that's measurable. Yeah. So you have a, a closed loop system there, and you guys mentioned the word closed loop in your press release there. Yeah. So let's go to the outcome. First is measurement. You can't right. understand what you don't measure, right, in your case. So that measurement piece is Hadoop-based, it's real time. What's next on the software paradigm? And it's cloud-based. What specific tech is going to be? Okay, I'm ingesting yeah. and measuring. What's next? How do you? Because now you're in verticals, right? You're in aerospace. Yeah. You're in telematics. You could be in oil and gas. Wherever it could be, they're different yeah. kind of you know, nuances. The two, the, the, you know, the, we first had to get our data in order. Once you got your data in order, like Hadoop and the analytics, I think that's that's sort of like uh, table stakes. I think the next two technologies that we're kind of getting jazzed about the the machine to machine, because I think how you're going to virtualize your, not your data center, how are you going to virtualize your operational technology? How are you going to virtualize the machines? How are you going to make it easier to maintain those remotely or in new ways uh, and utilize them in ways you never thought of before? So I think machine to machine communication, putting processing local to machines, analytics local, Think of big data at the machine. I mean, this 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 is not unlikely. I think the second technology is we. I think we we lose the people in this. But what what jazzes us mm. also is the people. When we look at the collaboration and technologies that are utilized in the consumer internet world, we realize we can change a field person's world by giving them those technologies overnight. And, and quite frankly, they're using some. It just not as organized as we can make it. So we just see the future of field force automation and machine to machine as next gen technologies. It, it's almost like ad tech. You got behavioral and contextual. You know the behaviors, the humans, you got it. and then the contextual is the machine data. Um, okay, so with that, let's pivot to, um, we had Accenture on, uh, CTO Paul. Yeah. And um, I was trying to get my arms around this notion of, okay, the consumer world <laughs> has kind of set the stage for the industrial yeah. world, you guys point that out. But the consumer market still, Cloud wars going on. You got Amazon <laughs> fighting out now Pivotal. You got HP Cloud. Yeah. So you have still have stacks that are developing technically uh, in the marketplace. So how do you guys view that? Obviously, you're talking about yeah. interoperability, but is it too early to make a move there? Or is it just the open message yeah. going to be good enough? You know what? I think the the what well we're hearing from customers, uh, you know, which which is a great source of information. <laughs> the ones who want to buy outcomes. Yeah. You know what? You know what we're hearing from them is we're hearing that that this uh, that they don't they want a hybrid approach. They, uh, some 
want to have it on their premise in a private cloud. Some want us to run in a private cloud. Some want a public cloud. And the fact is that we have to be able to do all of them simultaneously. And so what we believe is going to happen is that you can't, this is not the time to say, this is the final decision. What you have to do is you've got to be able to work with all of them, and then you've got to be able to move through them. The hard part for us is how do we make an environment that we can have our applications run in any of those and not have to have three code baselines, because that's going to be something we can't support. Yep, share with the folks out there the priority for GE here and the and, 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 and give a proof point of the investment that you've made there. Obviously this announcement's a big investment, but you know, bigger, bigger than that, so that you're thinking big. What's the priority? Uh, and give an example of how you're investing in yeah. that. Well the first priority for us, which we made two years ago, was that we had to we had to build, be able to have an organic capability and we said, you know what, if you're gonna if you're going to build an organic cable, you're going to be somewhere. Where are you going to be? Silicon Valley. This is not a normal place for GE. I don't know if you <laughs> noticed that. Uh, and, um, it's not and connected. Yeah, yeah, it's not connected. <laughs> so we uh, we came here, and yeah. uh, and we've done it our own way. But we made a commitment of a billion dollars over three years. Jeff Immelt made a commitment of a billion dollars over three years that we are going to build out this capability. We're going to work on the platform. We're going to work on our strategy and so on. You know what? This is now going into our businesses, and we have these eight businesses uh, take healthcare. Recently, healthcare announced they're going to invest now two billion on top of the one billion over four years to build their next generation set of applications. So when we talk about it, I think GE has the heft and the investment to be able to take this on, and those are two announcements we've made. Well, just on the Silicon Valley point, Silicon Valley's changing now. You talk about enterprise and business value. Yeah. You, you cut the line, and whether it's venture capital or yeah. partnerships. So you know, I think Silicon Valley's still got the geeky, you know, emerging uh, trend, but that's a good conversation. Yeah, we're bringing Silicon Valley to <laughs> GE, I, I, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so right. what's next for you guys? So, um, starting to build out the ecosystem, made some, well, let's go back a little bit. You put it in the Software Center in 2011, yep. made a big investment in, in Pivotal, you, yep. had, you got these partnerships going. What should we look for, uh, for m evidence of momentum in the marketplace? Yeah, yeah, you know, so it just, uh, first of all, we just look at, at our growth here in Silicon Valley. Uh, we, you know, we thought we'd be 400, 400 people in three years. We're 500 people in 18 months. Mm. We're going to be 1,000 people in the next 18 months. So I think one thing is looking, can we be a, you know, how, our, our momentum to get to 1,000. So we have the, 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 the size and the heft to build these kind of platforms right. and applications. I think the second, the second thing you're going to look for is how we establish this platform and work to get some standards into the market. We see the, the market moving so that others, the ecosystem develops. You're going to see us make more investments into small uh, startups. We'll make some announcements uh, shortly on that. And then finally, the big thing is going to be which services we bring out. And I think you're going to see more services and then uh, us showing the market momentum on the revenue side. Excellent. All right, Bill, well thank you. By the way, all my friends in Schenectady spent a lot of time there, John Union College. <laughs> 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 Love Schenectady. And uh, Bill, really appreciate you coming on theCUBE. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks, guys. Really right. appreciate it. Thanks a lot. We'll be Pleasure. right back with our next guest after this short break. We're live in San Francisco for the Industrial Cloud GE event. We'll be right back. <laughs>